Hey Heliens! Maybe not all of you are material collectors in Zelda Breath of the Wild, but maybe you just want to know the best locations to collect the rarest materials or lots of materials at once. Today we'll learn some of my favorite places to farm things and the routes I take to get as much materials as possible in the least amount of time. I'm Nico and material collecting is something I like doing for whatever reason. I know some others want to do this to a certain degree and a few of you have asked about the best places to go farming. So I really hope this video helps and if you want some tutorials on Zelda consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. There's 5 notes I'd like to mention before showing you these locations. First, level 3 speed boost for 30 minutes is my best friend, I make lots of them. 3 fleet lotus seeds, a swift carrot or a rush room, and a dragon horn is the dish I make the most. Second, there are lots of links in the description for all the videos on collecting materials. So if you're looking specifically for what certain materials do, what they're used for, and the best places to find them, check those links in the description. Third, remember that blood moons respawn monsters and weapons, but not materials. Each material on the map has a 1% chance to respawn every minute, so I usually wait for a blood moon to go back to those certain locations, and still, sometimes those materials won't be respawned. The blood moon is just a reminder that I haven't gone to those places in a while. Fourth, the order of the routes I take isn't necessarily the order I farm those materials, so if you're following along, you can just choose which routes you want to follow in whichever order you want. And fifth, you're an awesome person, thank you for being here. Because some materials are rare, I try to head for them first. When a blood moon occurs, the first place I usually go is the Hebrew Tower. I head west to the Tamapon to get some hardy salmon and chilfren trout. There's an enemy camp and a talus on the way if you want some monster parts or ores. Then I head to the lower Hebrew plunge. There's a few hardy salmon, chilfin trout, and bullfin trout here. The fish has a chance to freeze, so make sure you collect them as you shoot them. After this, I go to the Rito village and buy everything in the shop. Tabantha wheat, sugar cane, goat butter, and sun shrooms. I then head west, collect gold darners on the way if there are any, then get two hardy salmon in the little pond. Then I head to the first bridge, collect the hardy truffle on the way, and jump down. Not always, but sometimes there's hardy salmon here. And finally for hardy salmon, I head to the Hyrule Castle Shrine. I collect whatever fruit and arrows are in the crates, and get the three hardy salmon here, and also Lizolfo parts if I want any. After the hardy salmon are done, next is the rarer Sankei Carp. But first I leave Hyrule Castle and grab whatever I can from the Guardian Skywatcher and one Guardian Stalker. Yeah. 
I head to Kakuroko Village Shrine. First, go to the Great Fairy and grab the Blue Nightshade, Silent Princesses, Endora Carrots, and the Single Radish. I then head straight to Kakariko to buy some pumpkins. If Olkin's not there, I sit by this fire till noon. And if it's raining, go farther and light the cooking pot. After buying the pumpkins, there's a few sneaky river snails by the watermill. An iron shroom in this tree trunk. And then I collect the sake carp or whatever fish is in the water. The stamella shrooms are under Impa's house. Sometimes there's apples by the Korok, then I buy everything in the shop. Butter, eggs, carrot, and bokoblin guts. Now speaking of shops, there are a few items that can only be bought at shops. So next, I would go to Goron City and get Goron Spice and Sugarcane. I don't go here anymore, but you can go to the Korok Forest. There's Endora Shrooms behind a Deku Tree, and Silent Princesses by the Master Sword. You can then buy everything in the shop. Atino is a shop I always go to because it's the only place to get milk. On your way there, there's a single high-tail lizard, then buy everything in the shop. Before maxing them out, the next material I would farm is hardy bass. I used to have a travel medallion by the water on Mount Rome, west of the Thunder Plateau. Besides Hardy Bass, there's also a couple of Zelfos playing. Whee! While I'm here, I'm reminded to go to the Thunder Plateau. I would go here specifically for a few stamella and endora shrooms around the area. Swift Violets on the trees, Rush Rooms on the cliffs, Octorox for Octorok Eyeballs and Boltzmann Trout, <laughs> one coarser bee honey, and if I feel like it, this is a good place for winter ring butterflies, cold darners. And if you make it rain, you can get Thunderwing Butterflies and Electric Darners. Also pay attention for some sneaky river snails and frogs in the water. While I'm in this area, I would go farther south through the Ceres Scablands. There's more Stamella and Adora Shrooms, some Hardy Radishes, two big Hardy Radishes, and a Hinox. Next, I would continue to collect hardy bass. I go to the shrine that needs to be hit with lightning. I run north to get the big hardy radish, then jump down the waterfall. You can defeat the bokoblins for some arrows, then collect all the fish in the water. For more hardy bass, I go to the lakeside stable. Grab the Hyrule Herb, the Iron Shroom, there's bananas, break the crate for more fruit, and the Razor Shrooms behind the crate. Then finally, I go to the bridge. There's a total of 11 hardy bass around this bridge. Also, there's a chance for a Farage part. I'm still going to keep Hardy Bass in mind, but now I'm going to farm other things. Now let's go to the Farron Tower. I jump northeast, defeat the two Lizolfos, and grab as much as I can while I'm here. There's Hardy Durians, Mighty Thistles, and a big Hardy Radish in a hole.
Climb up and defeat the Hinox. You can get hardy durings while you're here and another big hardy radish. If you climb up another level, there's lots of mighty thistles and a lionel apparently guarding three bananas. Now I go east and I can get another big hardy radish. From here I run north for three more bananas and electric keys for the wings and possibly eyeballs. Of course this is the best place to farm for Rosh. And I keep in mind that sometimes you can get some beetles and lizards around the area. I then fly back to Farron Tower and go southwest. There's three hardy truffles after I cross the river, then I continue west. There's six more hardy truffles, a Hinox, then I target Octorox and collect them. After the Octorox, I head north towards the Sarjan Bridge to collect some more hardy bass. The next place I'd like to show you is a place I've spent a lot of time and it's in East Nakluda. My normal route is to defeat the Bokalbas and Hinox in the middle and collect the fleet lotus seeds nearby. Then I go to the South Hinox. There's usually six coarser bee honey here. Then I head to the Hinox in the north. After the brothers are defeated, I climb the north wall and sometimes there's hardy bass in this small pond. But where I'm really going is to another waterfall just north. This is my last location for hardy bass. As soon as I collect them, I head south and drop down to defeat another Hinox. Then, if I'm in a farming mood, I head back to East Nukluda and farm beetles and lizards. This is, in my opinion, the best place to farm them. You can check the card in the corner or the link in the description for those videos. While I'm on the subject on Hinoxes, there are a few lone Hinoxes that I go defeat for their Hinox guts. First is the one on the Big Dog Suspension Bridge. The one in the Typhlo Ruins. And south of the Akala Tower. Sometimes I go to the central tower, wind bomb north, defeat the guardian. Okay. 
head west for a Hinox. Then head more west, climb up the cliff for the second Hinox. There's also a Hinox in the south shrine of the Rito village. This is also a good place to farm some frogs and to ban the wheat by cutting the grass. There's also one coarser bee honey here. Another Hinox location is in the gut check rock. This is a great place to target sun shrooms, but sometimes I also jump south to defeat the Bacoblins for some bomb arrows. Go swimming for some sizzlevin trout. Then grab lizards, donners, butterflies, ostriches if I see them on the way to the Hinox. There are so many great locations to farm more materials and this video is just part one. Let me know if you liked this by giving it a thumbs up or saying so in the comments. Thank you so much for being awesome and I'll see you next time!